I'd like to show you a few things about manipulating a legend in QGIS for a layout. So I've got a layout I've created here. I'm going to left click on the legend box and draw the general area I want to place my legend. You can see the legend shows up here in the list of items that I have. If I can go to the item properties with legend selected, so I click on it here and go to the item properties, I can affect how it looks. Now I want to turn off this auto update to start. And suppose I just want to show my stand types here, the color legend. So the stuff that's at the top, oops, or at the bottom here for the other data layers, I don't want to display. I can select them in the window here, the item window, and click this minus button, and you see they go away. So I'll do that for a couple of more here. I want to get rid of all these values. I can left click on one and hold the shift key and left click on another to select. And if I hit this minus button, then you see they all go away. So I'm only left with my stand type here, listed my stand types. Now this doesn't do me much good when they're running off the bottom. So again, with the legend still selected, I can go further down to the items and say I want two columns. First, I'm going to want to split this layer inside the legend and then say two columns. And here I have two columns listed. I can change other things. For example, fonts and formatting I can change by using here for the subgroup headings. I think this is or maybe the item labels. I can go and make the font larger. And you can see the stand type then gets larger. I could also add text uh, at the top and remove this stand type or make it disappear. I can uh, change whether or not there are uh, uh, symbols around it or spacing. I can add a frame around the outside and make it thicker if I want. So by changing the items here, I can then change how my legend looks and document what I have displayed here. Remember, this back button is helpful because you can undo any change you've made on the back button there for the item if you try something you don't like the way it works. So very quick information on the legend. Basically, we load it, we select it here in this items window and change the properties with a couple of key things in, for example, adding or subtracting what we want to show and in the editing.